This is another video by Haste Computer Repair. Today I'll be installing some upgrades into this Lenovo ThinkCenter M800 PC. So let's get started. So I purchased this PC knowing that there was an Intel Core i3-6100 2-core 4-thread CPU installed and I believe 8GB of RAM, DDR4 2133MHz. And this AC Bell 250W power supply that only provides a 4-pin CPU power connection and the ominous 10-pin out power supply connector to the motherboard. So because this Lenovo motherboard has a tiny little 10 wire pinout for the power supply connection, if you want to install a full size ATX power supply so you can power a larger graphics card, you'll need a cable adapter that looks like this, a 24 pin to 10 pin adapter. So one downside is that this cable will essentially act like a jumper. Um, you can see the cable right here, just like a jumper that you'd use to test a power supply with a paper clip. So that means that your power supply fan will be running at all times even if you shut down your PC, you'll have to physically turn off the switch or unplug the cable from the wall outlet in order to make the fan stop moving. So if you do choose to upgrade the power supply, just keep that in mind and, and if you're comfortable with it, that's awesome. So while that does put some limitations on hardware upgrades, luckily there's still lots of space for upgrades. First up, we have an Intel Core i7-6700 CPU, 4 cores, 8 threads. We'll be swapping out that 8GB of RAM for 16GB of Samsung DDR4 2133MHz RAM, a 512GB Patriot P210 2.5-inch solid-state drive, and this low-profile Zotac GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card with 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Now you could also get a full size card that doesn't require extra power from the power supply, but I just don't have one right now. This is a GTX 1650, but it requires a six pin connector from a power supply. The main difference between these two is that the larger one is four gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and the small one is GDDR5. Still, we're gonna get some really good performance out of this and it's gonna provide a really nice little boost to this otherwise plain office PC. Now what I'm doing is pretty simple, but you could install a wider range of upgrades for many different purposes. You could install some extra 3.5 inch hard drives if you wanted to set up a NAS or Plex server. And you could utilize these extra PCIe lanes for things like Wi-Fi cards, NVMe SSD adapter. First up, I'll be removing the CPU cooler for cleaning and also the installation of the i7 CPU. Let's get rid of those RAM sticks as well. Now for the SSD, I think we'll put it right here. And finally, the graphics card. It looks so tiny in there. So we now have what I'll label as a sleeper budget gaming PC. I'm gonna take my Windows 10 USB, install Windows, update everything, all the drivers, etc., And we'll come back with a little wrap up before we get to the gameplay footage. All right, so just a little recap. You can see here in BIOS, we have the CPU, RAM, and solid state drive being recognized and of course the graphics card is also being recognized because we have output onto the windows 10 install all right windows is installed and all drivers are up to date this unassuming pc build is ready for testing and before i start showing gameplay footage if you have any questions leave it in a comment below or let me know if you're running a similar setup in 2024 so beyond that thanks a lot for watching let's check out the performance